all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice is coming good and clear uh, please invite your friends and share links with whoever you wish um uh, i was talking since i uh, stopped my podcast with a muslim lady and uh, she promised me if i can prove to her that the ritual of islam which is the kaaba doing hajj and going around the kaaba is nothing but false she said she is willing immediately to accept that islam is false and you know for me it's not really about being resting as much as about being uh, saving uh, muslims from the cult of islam so we are back so please invite your friends and let us see how we can prove this to this lady and i hope she will be our sister in christ very soon her and her family i spoke to her family too uh, she is very sincere and i can tell and she said well if you can prove to us and now they are watching me uh, if you can prove to us that the ritual of the kaaba because she mentioned to me uh, that there is a dimension of the kaaba it's located in the earth in certain place and uh, you know there is articles written about it which is really nothing but false so uh, and uh, allah he chose the location of the kaaba in the perfect place okay and they even they said they told her this is the center of the earth so we want to see together if this is true or not this is a muslim website it's called islamiclandmarks.com the kaaba The Kaaba is also known as Baytullah. The word Bayt, by the way, is not an Arabic word. This is an Aramaic word, and this is why you find it in Hebrew too, like Beit Lahem, Beit Lahya, Beit, Beit, Beit. This is a word in old Aramaic. And what, what happened usually, that people who worship God, they build a house for God, and that the house of God. You will see here, Baytu, if you read Mikaz, when I say to Muslims that Allah is not your the name of your God, do you see even how the Muslims they wrote the word Baytu Lah? Baytu Lah. Baytu mean the house. Lah is the house of Lah. I don't know how, how clear the text is coming to you. I hope so. So look what we will find here. The Muslim described to us how the Baytu Lah, the house of Lah, is built. Who is the one who constructed the house? The Muslims will shower us with tons of stories. And we will read some of them for you right in the front of us. Please don't hesitate to invite your friends to be with us. This is a very important video. Even though I wasn't planning for it, but as long as the sister and her family, they requested, and she promised she will leave Islam today if I can prove the Kaaba to be a false house of God. The Kaaba has been built or adjusted on several occasions throughout history. The most famous builder are the angels who originally constructed the first man and prophet. So the Muslims confirm that the first one who built the Kaaba, it was who? It was who, guys? The angels. Who is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba? Allah. All right. If Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba, and as you see, it says constructed many times, and the Kaaba actually, by the way, destroyed many, many times. One of them, Al Qurmuti, who destroyed the Kaaba and he took the black stone. And the Muslim, they have to bribe him for after 21 years, uh, and they they got pieces of it. They do not get, get even the black stone. So how we can prove that Allah cannot be God and the Kaaba cannot be the house of God, based on what we just saw right now? There's tons of stories that, uh, as an example, uh, Allah He told Adam to go, and Allah He sent Adam to Sri Lanka, which is supposedly India. And all the way from Sri Lanka, um, Adam came all the way there. How don't we don't know how he came? 
and uh, he was uh, and in Mecca there was 40,000 angel waiting for him and Allah placed for him the black stone there as a mark land for him to build with the angels the Kaaba so the one who placed the mark stone is Allah himself he chose the location he chose the spot he is the one who did landscaping choice now here and I'm going to wait I'm not going to make this uh, video long I can prove that Islam all of it is false and Allah cannot be God based on this story if Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba why Allah chose the wrong location guys how many of you heard of a city it's called New Orleans New Orleans you heard of it it's a city above uh, I mean sorry uh, the location of it is under the sea level which means the one who chose the location he really he made a stupid mistake and every year almost or every few years the city is flooded and covered totally by water causing damage of billions of dollars stupid mistake the Kaaba is no better if Allah the one who chose the location of the Kaaba why he chose a place is going to be flooded always if we go in the Kaaba look at the pictures all those pictures showing us one disaster that Allah he chose the worst location <laughs> the Kaaba always 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 flooded and when the Kaaba is flooded, it's flooded with what? With bad water, sewage. Because when the rain comes, the Kaaba is in the lowest location of Mecca. All the water of the sewage, there's no sewage, by the way. There's like holes in the ground. And the, the pupu is gathered there. So when the rain comes, everything will, will, be, will be floating in the top of the water. And then the Kaaba will be covered by dirt and mud and pupu. And water from everywhere those are old pictures you see I'm not making my own as you see this is history this guy is even swimming here do you see it do you see how high the water so if Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba why Allah you see if Allah Allah is God right let us say that the location of the Kaaba is perfect for Allah can't he make the earth go up a little bit like 20 meter up so it's not going to be flooded can't he change the landscape? Can he touch it by finger and his finger and make it in the top of a hill or a mountain? Why Allah he chose such a stupid location? If Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba, that means Allah is the worst of engineers. Look at this. Do you see it? Ooh. Imagine you ask a company to choose for you the perfect location to build your house and Then every year your house is flooded by garbage and by sewage I'm going to sue them Remember the one who chose this is Allah How Allah can make such a mistake He chose the lowest spot In the Kaaba in the in the city he could not find better place after the Saudi they get a lot of money from the oil so they made a lot of project to prevent the water from flooding the Kaaba but still it's not working like just a few years ago the Kaaba was flooded again so I do not need really to work hard to prove to you that this is cannot be the house of God I do not need to prove it it's in the front of you this is the proof there's no way God will choose his house to be in a place was going to be flooding by poopoo and sewage and piss that is the worst choice for anyone who work in the field of building how about God there's no way someone he have a little intelligence he will build the house in such a place 
This is the Kaaba in the year 1973. Look at the different after the oil and before the oil. Look at this. It was like a stable and a bunch of stores around it. Do you see it? There's no marble. The ground was dust. There is a little... Uh, uh, the, those are stores for food and goods and etc. It's a market. This is 1973. Not 1,400 years ago. Do you see it? Disgusting place, dirty. People are ground, go around in the and the and over this uh, 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 dirt. They have their camels and their donkeys and people they buy and sell. You know, remember when Jesus he he kicked the people from the temple of God from the square of the temple of God. For the uh, he said to them, "You made the house of my father a place for buying and selling." The house of the father of of of, of Abraham, or the, the house of Abraham, as he called it, it is nothing but a bazaar of buying and selling, and this is until now, almost until 1937. And when the American and the British people they discovered the oil, then the money start coming, and then they start fixing and repairing, and now they have marble, and now they have light, they have uh, fans, they have uh, air conditioning, but that will not change anything that the Kaaba is in the worst location how Allah can be God and he makes such a mistake very funny very silly religion I just received a message from the sister who she said if I prove to her that the Kaaba is not cannot be a choice made by the true God she will leave Islam and she just agreed that I'm right and this is cannot be God who who choose this location I told her I will prove it to you in a few minutes it's not going to take me long and glory to the Lord she agreed and I hope she will agree soon with her family that she will leave Islam and she will accept the Messiah as her own Savior this is nothing but a pagan religion there was 26 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula, at least. And it was nothing but a bazaar and a market. You do not need to be genius to decide if this is a choice by Allah, if he is God or not. I mean, if he is God, there is no way he will choose such a location where the flood will come over every uh, uh, every year. And, uh, uh, you know, you see, in, in Saudi Arabia, there is not much rain. But still, he chose the wrong location. You know what I mean? I mean, there is not too much rain, but isn't it Allah, he knew what happened every year? That when little rain come, this area will be flooded? Don't Allah knew that this is the lowest spot? He should not choose it? He could not find a better place? There is no way a true God will make such a wrong decision and he will, you know, uh, uh, accept this place to be a place of worship and consider it as the house of God. And then the Muslim, they start fabricating stories, says even birds cannot fly in the top of the Kaaba. You know, the other day I showed you the video where the birds are flying. An airplane cannot fly over the Kaaba. And look at the difference between the Kaaba today And the Kaaba yesterday. <laughs> you see what you see what oil can do. <laughs> you see what the oil can do. Today they try to make it uh, uh, like uh, uh, lighting and marble and what what is this is all about? And and the funny they say to us that we Muslims we are. Uh, consistent with our religion we don't change that we keep it as it is everything you change even even the house of the devil they replace it with the concrete one everything they have is false look at this
God, he need a room. And this room is his house. I have, you know, I advise Allah to buy a flooding insurance. We can call Geigo for you or some American companies. You can buy insurance for flood. So, you know, like if your furniture destroyed and your idols are broken or something, they float over the water, well, they will pay you. Look at the disgusting water. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, this, what is that? This is the house of God, who God, he chose it to be his place, his location. And obviously, Allah, he made the best choice. So, you know, uh, obviously, this is cannot be the house of God, and you do not need to be genius. There is no way God will choose a wrong location, will be flooded every... And look at this one, look. look. This is around the Kaaba. Look, flood all over. Not only inside the Kaaba, even the, the town around. Because if you notice here, how, how the mountain is so close to the Kaaba, and that make the water go down. This is the, the bottom of the mountain. There is a mountain, it's called Qubais, uh, next to the Kaaba. And this is what the Muslim believe, that during the flood of Noah, you see Adam, he bid, built the Kaaba, right? So then the flood of Noah came and destroyed the Kaaba, but Allah, he hide the black stone inside the belly of the mountain, which is the mountain you see in the left of the picture. So when the flood stopped, Allah, he made the mountain belly spit it like Muhammad Hijab. You know, the mountain spit it. And then Abraham, Allah sent him to build the Kaaba again, but in the same location. What a stupid story. Who in the world can believe in such a madness and garbage? You want to take a swim? Look at this. Look at this. Disgusting. And by the way, Mecca is the mo is the worst, ugliest city in the world, especially during the Hajj. Dirt and garbage. Go watch videos. Go watch videos made by the by the one who did Hajj, Hajj this year, not ten years ago. Dirty, ugly, disgusting, crimes, molestation. You know, anyone is like one of the funny things about Muslims. They say to you, we separate between women and men, but around the Kaaba, they go mixed. And the man is not wearing underwear, and the woman, she is not wearing underwear, and you can imagine what will happen. Look at this. This is inside the Kaaba building. Do you see it? This is inside the Kaaba building. This is not outside. Which means inside the, the, the mosque. Do you see it? The mosque of the Kaaba. Look at this. Why God want to choose the location here? I mean, come on, move it like uh, 500 meters away where the ground is higher. I challenge any Muslim to tell me why Allah, he choose such a stupid location for his Kaaba to be built on. That's impossible. This is cannot be from God. And then the Muslims, they need to place, they need to, to clothe the Kaaba. What is this is about the clothing the Kaaba? Since when a house need to wear burqa? Any Muslim can explain to us why the Kaaba need to wear a cloth? What is that? As you see here, the Muslims are clothing the Kaaba. Please, Kaaba, please don't forget to put your coat on because you might get cold or some men will see you. Everything about this ritual is a pagan ritual. They spend a lot of money and look now the Kaaba. Look, look how the concrete, they build it from concrete, they fix it, they maintain it, money. But not long time ago, it was like this. Look at this. This is 1941. This is 1941. Not long time ago. Look at the Kaaba. Look at the water. Look at the mud.
that's the most crazy religion I'm not going to stay here long please feel free to share the video and let everybody see how stupid this cult is this is absolutely is a pagan and then don't forget that the Muslim they have to kiss the black stone and Muhammad says whoever kissed the uh, kiss the black stone or he touched the black stone and the Yemeni corner which in which mean the, the the corner have the stones of Yemen from the moon temple Allah or sorry if you touch them your sin will be forgiven Muhammad he claim that by touching stones in the Kaaba your sin is forgiven who in the world want to believe in such a madness Look at the sewage. Look at the sewage. This is the this is the Kaaba of Islam. And now after the money, look what happened. Guys, look at this. They are building. Look at what look what happened. Where it was and where it is now. Big Ben. Big Ben is in Mecca now. And they have the crescent moon in the top of it. Do you see it? They have the crescent moon in the top of it. This is six stars who tail. What the Kaaba was and what it became today. The oil of the money or the money of the oil because it's the same. Look at this. Muhammad, if you see this, he will not believe it. And by the way, there's uh, some Photoshop here, like you know, like the colors, etc. Look at the Photoshop, look what they do. They, you know, <laughs> so from, from this, we go back a little bit and we see this. Look at the madness how the Kaaba was, how the Kaaba is today. This is the real Kaaba. This is 1937. I wonder how it was in the year 600. If this is in 1937. And this is telling you that the Muslims, they ignore the Kaaba for long. Because why the Muslim, the, the Ottoman Sultan, he have a very fancy palace, but the house of Allah is in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a dirt. You know what I mean? Look at this. This is the Kaaba. This is not long time ago. I advise Allah to say thank you, Western, for provide us with this with the science of engineering so we can stop the flood of the Kaaba. And by the way, still until now the flood is not stopping, it's not totally. Uh, uh, secure it's depend how much rain they will have there's a video you can search you can search right now search for the flood of Mecca and you will see by the way until now Mecca they don't even have a sewage this is why when the flood come all the poopoo -poo in the ground come out because every house dig like a small uh, uh, um, let us say basement a hole in the garden where all the poopoo -poo of the building go there and then a big tank come and the vacuum machine suck it. But the old days it was without vacuum, it stay there. So when the flood come, everything in the poopoo -poo holes come out and goes to the Kaaba. And everybody at the end of the day, including the sewage, have to glorify Allah. I'm glad that the sister, she agree that there's no way that this house can be the house of God for a very simple reason. God, if he is the one who chose a location, he will not choose such a stupid location. At least he would choose a place where there's no flood. You cannot tell me that God, he chose a place where the flood will cover it every... And by the way, before, like when, when the flood covered the Kaaba, the Kaaba usually collapsed, doesn't stay long. Because remember, the concrete is something new. The Kaaba, yes, was from rocks, but between the rocks, there's mud. And when water comes, that will make it easy and collapse. You know, it's going to, to like, become like a pesquit. So why Allah, he chose the wrong location? If there is any Muslim, have an answer, please feel free. Leave a comment under the video. 
and show me your intelligence and tell me what's wrong with your God to choose such a location where it is flooded every year thank you very much for watching and let us keep the video short we just as I said I just did this video just to prove to this sister and her family that Islam cannot be from God the house the location of the house of Islam proving it easy God will not choose such a location and remember this is not a place chosen by men to say it's a mistake of man the Muslim claim that the first one who put the stone there it was Allah and the angels they instructed the Kaaba and after that men like Adam and then Abraham etc so they cannot say this is not the mistake of Allah they cannot say this is not the mistake of his angels they cannot say that this is have nothing to do with God because according to them this is the house of God Allah he chose a location this is a holy place and this is why it is a holy place because Allah he put it there the black stone it was not a human error it was God of Islam error and that is telling us the whole story thank you very much for being here I hope many Muslims will see the truth and the truth will set you free and be aware if you have a phone number of Allah to call him and give him some American insurance companies so they might be protecting him from the flood and that will be a better solution for all the Muslims you don't want to go to the Kaaba and you buy iPhone and then you find yourself in the middle of the dirt and the flood is covering you without insurance buy insurance before you go to the Kaaba additional to that people who go to the Kaaba mostly many of them just a few years ago thousands of Muslims die because they step at each other and this is another pro problem we will talk about it in different video because if Allah is aware that the population of Muslims will be so big to the point the location of the Kaaba will not be able to handle them that he should not ask them all to come if you study if you search and study the numbers if you live 100 years you will not be able to go to the Kaaba to do Hajj because there is no way this Kaaba can handle all the population of Muslims so what is the point of saying you need to do Hajj if you can if you can but if you can this is about if you don't have money or if you have money but what about the people who have money the Saudi even they cannot give visas to everybody because Mecca cannot handle the population it's a small town small mosque it doesn't matter how many floor they do and add to it still it cannot handle it thank you very much for watching and may the Lord help us to expose the truth and the lies both need to be published and we use the word expose the fact it's good to expose even the truth because sometimes what people think it is a lie it might turn to be a truth and what they think it's a truth it might turn to be a lie and obviously this is a very clear lie thank you and God bless take care